Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Brethren, this is a Thursday. It's a day of prayers. It's a day which has been protected so much for the sake of interceding for others for their various problems, diseases, court cases, domestic wars, any manner of wars, their prayers are bringing their prayer requests here. They believe when they are prayed for, God will hear them. That's why they are, write, they are writing their prayer requests and bringing them here because they believe the prayers of this place, when people intercede for them, the God of the founder is going to hear their prayers. That's why they are diligent of sending their prayer requests every day. And the servant of God teaches. He teaches. He warns. He rebukes. Because that's the will of God. Because before we go to prayer, he, te he teaches, he warns, he exhorts. The idea is, people of God, follow the way of God. They follow the way of God so that they may get help. Because the things that disturb you, you cannot manage them yourself. It's God who can manage them. And those things, God puts them in his servant. Even now, it's ready put in him which is useful to us. Let's just listen to him. We receive him. We observe what he says because it's for our profit and for our health. It is for our peace. Amen. So we have no reason of delaying him when he comes to church. He comes. He wants to talk. Now, why should we delay him? Let's give him an early opportunity so that he may speak to us with all the freedom so that he may tell us everything that God wants that uh, us to hear. So welcome, servant of God. Talk to us. Tell us that the things that God has enabled you, the people are ready to listen every, to everything. Welcome so much. Welcome so much. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. 
It's yet another nice evening of prayers. Our God of the Founder has brought us together. Yeah, he never gets tired. He said, never forsake assembling together. That's why he protects us and makes us gather. Because he chose us so that he may count us righteous and that he may glorify us. Amen. You are not here because you want. You are appointed. The way he says it in Romans chapter 8. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says those that I called, I called them so that I may justify them and glorify them. So when you know that you are, you are appointed by God, why don't you rejoice? And it's God who chose you in Jesus Christ so that he may justify you and glorify you. That's why when he sees us swaying away, he brings, he brings us back to the path. He brings us back to the way so that we may attain his will. He wants to glorify us in our lives. That he may be glorified in our lives. So that the Gentiles may say that truly they are God. So that they, are go they can say that they are God saves. Because we are full of good things. We are at peace. We are full of blessings. Earthly blessings that he may be glorified in us. So that they may say that those are people of the God of the founder. That's why Moses said, if you make them perish, then just wipe out my name. Of what use will it be? bringing them from all over then you make them perish in the wilderness even the people will say where is their God he brought them all that way and did not make it to put them into Canaan God told Moses should I wipe out your name I will not do it just preach and warn them. Whoever will change will enter. Therefore, brethren, it's a long journey. It's a long journey. That we are Sometimes I think all these years I've been in salvation, serving God in various ways. Today I come as a loss. I enter into useless things. It will be a loss all these years of being in salvation. I always say, God help me. In all things, help me to do your will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All these years. I reap nothing. I miss out God's kingdom because of executing bad things. Help me, God of the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God does not force anyone. He says, I put on earth blessings and curses Life and death. Now make a choice. Chagua. Make a choice. Chagua uzima. Make a, choose life. Kwa kunipenda mimi bwana mungu. By loving me. Chagua uzima. Choose life. Sasa kwa kuoka ni kuchagua. 
Now salvation is a choice. It's not someone choosing on your behalf. Salvation is making a personal choice. So when you see someone in here, he is involving himself in things that are not of light. It is a choice they have made. What are you saying? When you say, what are they doing? What have you chosen instead? Because salvation is a choice. But you are being like a flag following the wind wherever it blows. The one who walks in darkness has made a choice to But what is it that you have chosen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I chose. Even before I was saved, I'm in my youth. I've not started going to church. One day I said, All these things I do at night, following discos, to very distant places. You can even be beaten by snakes. I have not known about church, but I chose to stop all that. And I had not even started to say, I said, all this is trouble. I used to hear them, but I, I never went. They started questioning me whether I was saved. Said, no. You can make a choice even before, even if you're not saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That, then later, God pulled me into salvation. So salvation is a choice. What did you choose? Choose life through loving the Lord God, serving Him. Say, you will reap good things. He is impartial. Says, whoever fears Him is accepted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read for us the book of Deuteronomy. He's saying, I've put before you today blessings and curses, death and life, but choose life by loving your God. Let's not be people who flow just like flags. You find people blaming, you are joining them. You find people murmuring, you join them. You have no personal choice that you make. Amen. Amen. When they backbite, you are among them. I've lived in this Mariakani. Some are here at Chonyes telling me, oh, how, how do you see this gospel? Why can't you take it to Chonyes? Missionaries here in Mariakani. If he has not been sent to Chonyes, are, are, are we the ones to guide him? Why don't you say to the Griyama land? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was not here uh, choosing people where they belong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These are fellow chonies or fellow lawyers. Say this is our fellow lawyer. This is from our place. What have you chosen? Hallelujah. Read for us. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19. Na zishuhudia mbingu na inchi juyenu hivileo. Hua. 
Nimekuwekea mbele yako uzima na mauti, baraka na laana. Basi chagua uzima ili uwe hai, wewe na uzao wako. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. He's saying, I have put this before you. Blessings and curses. Death and life. Choose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Choose. Gua uzima, choose life kwa kumpenda Bwana Mungu wako. By loving the Lord your God. Mimi nikachagua, I chose. Nikasema kama kijana atakufa. I said if this young man will die. Because kutumikana. he has no girlfriend, let me be the first one to be bus. I will never attend this again. And I will never attend these ceremonies anymore. And I used not to attend. Oh, we are going to be so much safe. I had made a choice. And I stayed that way. I had made a choice. And I stayed that way. 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 And I Say, you say all those things, but you'll get tired eventually. They are full of them out here. How can I leave them out here and then follow them in church? Shall I follow them in church? And in the world there, there are so many. That is what we... Eli akawambia wanawe wanangu Eli told his sons my sons Ninao yasikia nini unayafanya humu humu What I'm hearing about you Baa wanaotumika kwa hekalu la Bwana hawa What you are doing to the servants Ndugu katika Bwana hawa the, 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 the brothers in Christ Huko nje mliyafanya hata humu ndani ndani You did the same things outside there Yet you are continuing the same in the Lord's temple Mana they never had mauti. because they had chosen death Hallelujah Hallelujah because they chose evil. But had they heard the warnings, they would be saved. They chose rebellion. But when they were warned by their father, they never listened to him. They went on doing evil things continually. They never got saved. That's why we are warning each other so that we may be saved from the wrath of God. We are enabled from the heart. Read for us the same scripture. Salvation is making a choice. Nazishudia mbingu na nchi juyenu hivileo uwa nimekwekea mbele yako uzima na mauti baraka na lana basi chagua uzima ili uwe hai wewe na uzao wako. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. You see someone is staying with you see someone visiting a guest house don't you have a personal choice that you make? You, you just go wherever you find people going without minding where they are going. Don't you have a personal choice? Salvation is a personal choice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I chose from my youth. I said, let me be buried. If one can die because they don't have a girlfriend, let me die. Let me be the first one. The things I did are enough. And Jesus helped me. 
Because he saves the one who is willing. And, and from then on, God is helping us. If I stay with you, and then you start your story, I say, no, stop it. God is impartial. He's going to the bush. Has he tied a rope to you? No. What have you made? What choice have you made? If it's your fellow sister, you are seeing them going into evil. It's a choice they have made. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a choice they have made to clap hands and then to visit people's houses and to sleep there. What, are, what choice have you made? That's why God is up there, but He's watching. Human beings. He's saying he's watching from above. Who has understanding that he's seeking the Lord so that he may save him so that he may glorify himself in their life. So you are called our Father God of the Founder God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob so that he may glorify himself in your life. So that the Gentiles may say, Those are people of the God of the Founder, God of, the, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he wants to work in our midst, but he, he will work with people who, made, who have made a choice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People who, are, who made a choice. Not those who visit every other place. Amen. Amen. Kabisa. Truly indeed. That's why there's one man in the Bible. He had Jesus passing by. He had made a choice then. He had been prayerful for many days. Uh, praying for alms. But today, Jesus is passing by. He said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many days he was not yelling because the blindness to him was profitable. But that day he had made a choice. Son of David, have mercy on me. People told him, Be silent, you are making noise. Yes, man, Jesus, son of David, have mass on me. Jesus told them, Let him come. He threw his garment away. And he found he groped his way through. People are Bidding him to keep quiet, but he had made a choice. Ametaka. He had wanted it that way. Utaka ni kuchagua. To want is to make a choice. <coughs> Jagua. To make a choice. Mungu hapo ni tu kwa sababu kwa kanisani. God doesn't heal you because you are in church. Wataka. Are you willing? Unataka. Are you willing? Unataka. Are you willing? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alafu umamini bwana yesu. Then you believe in Jesus. Alipo ambiwa mwacheni aje. He was, leave him to come. What? He went so fast. He doesn't see, but he was stumbling against people, giving him way. Jesus is seeing him. This is blind man. But he did not heal him directly. Because he was not sure of his desire. Maybe he could have another deeper problem. He's seeing him as blind, but he has to ask him. What is it that you want me to do for you? What is it that you want me to do for you? I want to see, Lord. He has made a choice to see. He's tired of begging. So that he may use work. He can go and dig farms. So that he may also harvest. That he can also gift someone with a, a measure of maize. 
What is it that you want me to do for you? Na Bwana Yesu amemwona anafanya anafanya kugonga watu hiyo. The Lord Jesus had seen him stumbling against people. Lakini hakumponya tayari. But he did not heal him directly just like that. Alimuuliza wataka nifanye. He had to ask him first, what do you want me to do for you? Una hali gani hapa ndani mwako? What condition do you have? Ambayo imekutosha. That you are tired of. Tabia gani ndani yako? Which behavior in you? Je, ni wivu? Is it envy? Au ni uongo? Is it lies? Au ni uchungu? Is it bitterness? Au ni kukosa uaminifu? Is it lack of faithfulness? Wala vilivyo vyako hata za wengine. You are eating what belongs to you and what belongs to others too. Anaangalia useme jamani mimi. He's looking at you to Tango nifanye haya nimepata nini? So that From the time I did this, what did I do? I'm tired of this. Yes, Jesus help me. Mimi hapa, I, here I am. I'm not faithful. When I'm given something to I just fry it along the way and consume it. And I don't even lakini useme ah mtu kama mimi jamani. Ni say a person Je, like I sure. mbinguni leo nitaingia. Suppose I'm called to heaven today. Na niyafanyayo haya. And all these things that I'm oh, doing. Sasa umetaka. Now you are willing. Haya muombe Bwana sasa. Pray to the Lord now. Aponye mtu kwa sababu uko katikati ya wa, wa ndugu na wadada. He does not heal anyone because he's the, in the midst of breath. Paka utake. You must be willing. Uchague. You must make a choice. Huyu akachagua huyu. Now this one made a choice. Akachagua. He made a choice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Soma hiyo ni Mathayo hiyo. Read for us that, that is in Matthew. Ah, ni Mariko. No, sorry. Mariko it, kumi, it is in the book of Mark kuanzia 46. Mark chapter 10 from verse 1. Salvation is a choice. Salvation is making a choice. Youth make a choice. Say now even if someone at the gate of heaven will you say that I did this because so and so was also doing it. What choice have you made? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio utakuta wengine wakomu wanalishwa wanalishwa. So you find others are maneno hayo Ah baba amekwambia sabuni hii ukafulie nguo. Your father has given you soap to go and wash your clothes. Sabuni hiyo inaihonga watu humu humu. You are bribing people just here. Tusomee kama wamepata. Read for us if you have located the scripture. Wakafika Yeriko hata alipokuwa akishika njia kutoka Yeriko pamoja na wanafunzi wake na mkutano mkubwa mwana wa Timayo Batimayo yule mwombaji kipofu alikuwa ameketi kando ya njia naye aliposikia ya kwamba ni Yesu mnazareti alianza kupaza sauti yake na kusema mwana wa Daudi Yesu ni rehemu na wengi wakamkemea ili anyamaze lakini alizidi kupaza sauti mwana wa Daudi unirehemu Yesu akasimama akasema Mwiteni wakamuita yule kipofu wakamwambia jipe moyo inuka anakuita akatupa vazi lake akaruka akamwendea Yesu Yesu akamjibu akamwambia wataka nikufanyie nini yule kipofu akamwambia mwalimu wangu nataka nipate kuona Yesu akamwambia enenda zako Imani yako imekuponya. Mara akapata kuona akamfuata njiani. And they came to Jericho and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus the son of Timaeus sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, Have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, 
Have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he calleth thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith had made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Amen. Amen. He's seeing him clear that this is a blind man. Either way, he say, call him to come. He's coming just groping around his way. He's stumbling on the rocks and everything. But he did not heal him just directly like that. He had to ask him first, what is it that you want me to do for you? Even you are here, Jesus is asking you, what do you want me to do for you? What is it that I should heal from you? You want me to save you from which? Sin. You must be willing first. Say, so, until when will I live a lie? Someone who despises others all the time. Someone who counts others better until when? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How will I will live with domestic wars until when in my house? Someone who hates his, his people until when? God wants you to make a choice. He wants to see you praying to him. Enable me with full love, O oh Lord. So that I may be commanded to love my people of the household. To see you that you have made a choice. He will create you. Because he has the power. Why shouldn't he create you? And he said you will be righteous. You will be holy the way I am holy. And you want to be holy like he is. He will create you in his name. You will be holy even as I am holy. That's what he says, our God. And he has to see you willing. I, I asked myself here, I will stay someone who mamas and children. Suppose Jesus comes today, will I really enter heaven? I answered myself, no, I will not. I came from Chonyi to come and mama here. And I said I was going to serve God, knowing that it has no pay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is work of that one volunteers. Today, what is it that makes you should make me mama? And I said I was going to help the founder. I, I forsook those uh, employments. From school I came directly here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it's employment, I came and did it while I was already here. That uh, building in Mutwapa, that was my first uh, paid job. And it is the servant of God who I did not run away from God's work. I was in Kangemi. He told me, Rimba, come. It was none of my thoughts at all. I've slept hungry, children have been sent home for school fees, but I never mumbled against anyone. I'm saying in my heart, it is God who gave me these children. Whether they will learn or not, he called me there one day. See, there are people looking for someone in Mombasa. And it is this Pastor Gabriel Kahindu. He has his uh, Kikuyu friend. He's called Mr. Kamau. Gabriel told me he has a friend who is looking for someone to supervise his work. 
ndio walimwambia huko kwenye miracle they say in your miracle church you can pata mtu wa kusimamia kazi hiyo can you get someone who can supervise this work maana wenyewe wanakaa Nairobi wote because all of them are staying in Nairobi watafuta mtu mwaminifu ambaye watamchia hiyo kazi they are looking for a faithful someone na watasimamia to... wahindi bila kutafuta hongo to supervise the Asians without being bribed si apewe gari na haribu kazi not to be bribed with a car then he spoils the work ndio twende uangalie kuna mtumba kidogo let's go and look for some second hand alafu mahali pa kwa kutua kwa kutia chuma mbili aweke moja then where some place to put two rows and put one kuna kanisa inaitwa miracle they knew there is a church called miracle na walio humo ni waaminifu and the Congregants they are faithful. He came to the servant. I did not send him. The servant told him there is rimba. He called me from Kangemi. He said, "Come." Go to Mombasa. There are people waiting for you there. This is their number. Gabriel brought the number. Our elder here. I made the phone call. Muko wapi tuko hapa? Where are you? Nakumat hapa Nyali. We are in Nakumat Nyali. Nikaenda nikakaa hapo. Hatujuani hata. I went and sat there. We never knew each other. Nikaenda kwa mwanzilishi. I went to the founder mother. Kama yeye mchungaji anasema niende kazini. I told her now. Nenda utapata kalamu ya God is saying I go and seek employment. Say go. Nakuhubiri nako kwani kwani ukienda kupata kalamu ya mtoto sikuhubiri kuko tu. Even if you go and get a, a pen for your child. Yeye mzigo unajua unako unako wewe ya karo. All the fee burden that you have. Kwa hivyo therefore niende. Akasema aende. Should I go? I said yes, go. Watasema nimerudi nyuma nimeenda kwa amri ya watu wa Mungu. If they say I have backslid, no, I have gone by the Simi command of the Lord. Simu ni It's not me who looked for it. So, I went and sat there, bought a soda, drank all of it. And they came and mm. sat just next to me there. Where are you? Where are you? We have already reached. Yeah. Are you the one? Yes, I'm the one. Okay. So we identified each other there. So we went. If you are the one then accompany us. So we went there. Wahindi wana madoti humu. Asians with some dots. Wana kila in their foreheads. They have all manner of building equipment. Huge cranes, huge equipment. Haya kazi yangu ni nini? Now what is my work here? Kama kazi yako ni kusimamia wahindi. Your work is to supervise these people. Kama ni simiti wa koroge vizuri. If it is cement, they mix it well. Kama ni chuma wa ifunge vizuri. If it is a Iron bars, they utilize them well. Something I had not done before. And that Mr. Kamau said, there is an interview that will be conducted by all uh, bosses from Nairobi. I went that day. What? What? All big men from Nairobi came to, to a round table wanting to interview Rimba. I was out there waiting to be summoned. Then I found them having discussions. I was asking myself, will I manage those questions really? People with degrees and all manner of qualifications. But Mr. Kamau told me, I just looked at them. I believe the God that you believe in will lead you. And where you don't understand, he will ask. I've told them, the one I've the one I've told them, he is adequate for that work. Amen. What? I've told my boss, the one who wants I've told him he does not need your interview. Trust me, trust me. And the overall boss said, so long as this one has said that, then it is okay. Whatever he says, I pick it. So, let us not call him for the interview. The way Mr. Kamau has said, that is enough. What? Hallelujah. So, Hallelujah. So I used to say in Mutuapa there. The Asian. 
Anasema mzee njoo hapo sasa. He say sisi kesho iko taka koroga sasa. Tomorrow you want to mix concrete here. Angalia chuma hii. Just look at this iron bars. Naangalia um, looking at them. Ambia lete plan yako. Say bring your plan. Mbona mbona hii chuma How come this? Kana 25 mbona umeweka 25? This iron bars are 25 in number. iko wapi? And there are 23 here. Where are the two? Maze mbili hapa. Say you know uh, no. Utafungua hiyo chuma. You have to hapo ndio uweza kuangua njo that's the time when you can be summoned secretly kama ni gari ningeipata kitambo if it's a car i would have got long time ago kama ni nyumba ningeijenge wa kitambo if it's a house i have been constructed for long time ago haleluya haleluya lakini but kuwa mwaminifu being faithful kwa mali ya udhalimu to wealth kama yesu alivyosema kama we huko mwaminifu kwa mali ya udhalimu if you are not faithful to the Mungu atakupaje katika mali ya haki how will god put you in charge of kile kidogo huko mwaminifu nacho the little you are not faithful with watetemeka you are shaking before haleluya haleluya ndio jengo liko hapo hapo that's why there is a ile ilikuwa ni university yangu that was my biggest interview university yangu that was my biggest test Haleluya. Haleluya. Watu wakasema oh, rimba amerudi nyuma. People Ambe said oh, rimba ya has backslid. He has left the work. Niona mmoja ana gari yake hapa Mombasa. I found one who, who, with, the, with his car in Mombasa. Imechaka ameandika kule nyuma. It's uh, so old but he has inscribed behind Semeni there. Semeni mtachoka. You say you will eventually get tired. Mana anajua watu wanasema. Because he knows people are saying. Wanasema oh imechaka oh ni mtumba oh. It is old, it is old. It is a second hand. Semeni mtacho. You say it all, you will eventually get tired. Wewe nawe wavunjika moyo. You are getting discouraged. Unaiga mabaya maana wanasema watu wanasema. You are talking bad things because you say. Kijana waandike semeni mtachoka. Right oh, this young man. Say it all. Na jaoa jaolewa semeni mtachoka. Say it all you will get tired. Wewe una Mungu wao upon the Lord of the founder. Aliyesema who said mtu ataacha baba na mama one will leave his father and mother. Atakana na mume watakuwa kitu kimoja. He will follow his husband and there will be one thing. Wasema watu wa bado mimi tu. Say no I'm the only one remaining I'm so late. Wewe wako naye yuko naye amechelewa hivi. Even you as is also late when you are. You must make a choice. Waandike huko nyuma semeni mtachoka. Behind you say one day you'll get tired. Haleluya. Haleluya. Semeni mtachoka. Say it one day you, you will get tired. Kuokoka ni kuchagua. Salvation is making a choice. Sishiriki kila jambo. You don't follow everything. Huyu akataka huyu. This one wanted. Wataka kuwa mzima. Do you want to be made whole? Wataka nikufanye nini? What is it that you want me to do for you? Kasema nataka kuona bwana. To see Lord. Nimechoka kuwa kipofu kuomba mama. I'm being blind and begging. Nataka kuwa nataka kuona mimi. I want to see. Haya kwa imani yako enda umeona. Okay, by your faith. Macho yakafunguka kwa. You are healed and he received his sight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Juzi kijana mmoja akanipata pale na mkewe pale. The other day one young man fo followed me there with his wife. Ni mjamzito. She is pregnant. Anasema mwezi ni huu. Say this is Sa my mtakaje. Last month of pregnancy. What do you want? Pray for me. Kwa kwa mamaangu huko. That I may deliver oh. myself from my mother's place. Oh, Umechagua kuzaa kwa so, imani. You have made a choice to give Ambea, back my faith. Ndio amen tunakuombea Mungu okay, atakuwa. Okay. Amechagua yeye. Believe you are praying for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amechagua. She had made a choice that way. Mungu amemtia nguvu. God had strengthened her. Ana mwanawe huko Malindi. Now she has a kid in Malindi there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio akasema mahali pengine. That's why he said in some. Na kusudia neno. We will be determined to do something. katika njia zako. And the light shall shine on your ways. Mungu akuone umekusudia jambo. When God sees you determined Yesu to do something. Atakuja, Jesus will come kutia nguvu to strengthen you. Maana alisema bwana Yesu. Because he said atakaye na aje. Whoever wills let them come. 
Atakaye naaje. Whoever wills let them come. Atakaye naaje. Whoever wills let them come. Atakaye naaje. Whoever wills let them come. Atakaye naaje. Whoever wills let them come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hata kama ulikuwa na mpungufu gani. No matter what luck you suffer. Huu ni wakati wa toba huu. This is a time of repentance. Usiogope. Never fear. Maonyo haya yote. All these warnings. Ni ili tumgeukie Mungu. So that we may turn back to the Lord. Bana alituitia baraka. So that alituitia mema he called us for blessings and good things ulipinga lipi leo ukageuka urudi baadaye mungu huyu anabariki haleluya jaliwe toba tu that you may be enabled to repent ndio mtu mmoja alikuwa na watoto wawili so there's one who had two wives akamwendea yule wa kwanza akamwambia mwanangu two children he went for the first one and asked afanye kazi katika shamba ya mzabibu go and work in my vineyard akasema he nitaenda said yes father i'll go lakini hakuenda but he never went kaenda kwa wapili naye went to the second child akamwambia mwanangu said my son mwana yule wa kwanza amechagua kuitikia na hana si because the first one uh, accepted but he never went mmoja akasema sitaki the other one said he, he, he was not willing lakini baadaye akachagua but kuti. later he repented kuna nimejibu baba vibaya why did i answer my father aku ngoja baba yake aje he never waited for the father to Dwa come back baba, mimi. then he asked for forgiveness Nimekupinga. i have opposed you baba atakacho ilikuwa ni kazi ifanye what the father wanted was the Na work to be done hajatoka safari and because before he came from Yeye the journey ya jembe, akaenda shambani he went to the farm haleluya haleluya baba aliporudi akuta shamba limelimwa when the father returned he found the work having been done hata leo mungu anangoja even today god is waiting ulikuwa umeenda kando rudi kwa njia you had diverted come back to the way ulikuwa umekosa line rudi kwa line you had been derailed come back to the mungu rail yuko hana upendeleo he is there he is impartial haleluya haleluya somee tumalize hiyo luka uh, matthew mariko uh, mathayo 21 read for us that book of matthew 21 mungu anapeleza na watu wenye toba god is pleased by people who are repentant Shirina moja, shirina nane. Matayo. The book of Matthew 21 verse 28. Salvation is a choice. Salvation is a choice. Na tuoko wae ni Bwana Yesu. And the one who saves us is the Lord Hata Jesus. Hata huko London. Even when we are in London. Hata huko Dubai. Yes, you are in Dubai. Si kwamba uko mbali ndio Mungu hayuko hayuko pamoja. It's not that you are far. Then you think God is huko, not near huko, you. Huko huko chagua. Wherever you are make a choice. Chagua kutembea katika njia za haki. Make a choice of walking in righteousness. Chagua uaminifu huko uliko. Choose faithfulness wherever you are. Chagua uzima. Choose life. Kwa kutoendea dhambi. By not going into sin. God huko. will be with you wherever you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mungu. You choose serving God. Atakubariki He will bless you wherever you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. La That's why you have the preachers building Bole here. Tu. Slowly. It will be constructed with time. Pesa za kulipa we are looking for money to pay the architects. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tuwe na plani zetu. So that we have our plans ready. And then you continue praying to God. Afanye mlango wa hela za kujenga. And trusting him to make us. Wahubiri ni watu wa heshima. Preachers are honorable Lakini men. Lakini wakija hapa mkutano wa nalala mahali But when they come here for the crusade they sleep in very bad places. Yes, they are zao na pisha wageni. They they give their places to Yes. Baba wanapisha watoto walale. Uh, these are these are fathers. Lakini heshima yao si hiyo. But that is not their dignity. Ndio mtumishi wa Mungu mwenda zake. That's why the servant of God the Lord. Siku moja akaniambia rimba njoo hapa. What he told me rimba come here. Tuko office ni tukaenda na yeye hapo workshop hapa. We came out of the office and went to the workshop. Akaniambia waona hapa hapa. He told me are you do you see this place? Mungu akifanya mlango tujenge hapa nyumba ya Mhubiria. God makes a way it has construct the preacher's oh. building here. Akaota mahali pale. He pointed somewhere there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Asikila jambo na wakati wake. So everything with its own timing. Tajengwa tu kwa wakati. To be constructed in its time. Tukishika hizo plani mkononi. Once we get hold of those plans in our hands. Na milango iko itafunguka. And those will be opened. Na ninyi mkimrudia Mungu wa. When you return back to the God of. Mjaliwe toba moyoni. You've been able to repent in your heart. Na waombea Mungu wa mwanzilishi. Praying to the God of the Father. Biashara zizofilishika zifufuke. All the business that went blank. Na miradi yote ifufuke. And all plans to be revived. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fufuke. Let them be revived those projects. 
Kule moyo ni mkimrudia Mungu. When you turn to God in your heart. Anasema ukinirudia nami nitakurudia. If you turn back to me I'll turn back to you. Ulimwacha kwa mawazo mengi na maneno mengi. Lakini unajaliwe toba kumrudia Mungu wetu wa mwanzilishi. Tumrudie sasa. Let's get, go back to return back to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mungu atainua kazi zetu. God will raise our biashara and our businesses. Aliyekuwa akifunga kuku biashara zitainuka. We ever used to rear poultry to Kila miradi. Every manner of projects. Tujengee wahubiri nyumba. So that we may build a house for the people. Jengo zuri wewe. It's a beautiful building. Ikikamilika tutakuonyesha. When it is constructed we'll put it kwa mtandao. We'll put it in the, we'll put it online. Wengine walianza katari. Some have already started contributing for it. And I'm also among them. I've started slowly. Bandu bandu maliza gogo. Step by step, the journey will be completed. Amen. Whoever is willing. You be willing that if God gives me something. That I may also contribute. God will give you something. Kidogo kidogo tulianza elfu bit by bit moja, elfu mbili, elfu, 1000 shillings 2000 shillings 500 shillings bit by bit Hallelujah Na itakuwa kwa jina la Yesu And it shall Tusomea come to pass in, in the name of Jesus Read for us Sirina moja sirina nane uteremke hapo Chapter 21 verse 28 Matayo. Book of Matthew Lakini mwaonaje Mtu mmoja alikuwa na wana wawili akamwendea yule wa kwanza akasema mwanangu leo nenda akafanye kazi katika shamba la mizabibu akajibu akasema naenda bwana asiende akamwendea yule wa pili akasema vile vile naye akajibu akasema sitaki baadaye akatubu akaenda je katika hao wawili ni yupi aliyefanya mapenzi ya babae wakamwambia ni yule wa pili basi Yesu akawaambia amini nawaambia watoza ushuru na makahaba watatangulia mbele yenu kuingia katika ufalme wa Mungu but what think ye a certain man had two sons and he came to the first and said son go work today in my vineyard he answered and said i will not but afterward he repented and went and he came to the second and said likewise and he answered and said i go sir and went not whether of them twain did the will of his father they say unto him the first Jesus said unto them Verily I say unto you that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you Hallelujah Hallelujah The one who said I don't want is the one who said Because he said he was not going to go But later he repented and Kutubu ni kule kukubali kugeuka. Repentance is accepting change. baba aje amwambie baba nisamehe. He forgiveness akaenda shambani. He just went to the father aliyosema sitaki. And did what he had refused to do. Akabarikiwa. He was blessed. Hicho ndio kitu Mungu anakingoja paka leo. That's what God is waiting for. Ulizungumza yapi? No matter what you say. Nini, no matter what you cause. Nini, no matter what you hurt. Kalaumu nini hiyo si kitu. Whatever you blame Leo ugeuke means nothing. Utende yale uliyokuwa unasema kutoka leo sitafanya tena. Change today and do what you said you are not going to do. Baraka ni zako. Blessings will be yours. Na uzima ni wako. Life will belong to you. Mungu anataka watu wageukao. God is after people. Wamrudi yao Mungu kwa njia ya matendo. And return back to him through works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huyu alisema sitaki. This one said I don't want. Lakini aka baba alipoondoka. But when the father left. Kasema ai mbona nimejibu baba. Said what? No. Let me go to the vineyard as I've been instructed. Baba alipokuja anaona shamba linalimwa. When the father came we found the vineyard. Anaona ni yule wa kwanza aliyesema nitaenda. He said the first one who said he was going to go. Kumbe ni yule aliyesema sitaki. Ah, it in fact it was the one who had refused. Akapata radhi ya mzazi. 
he got the father's blessing. So even today, no matter what you said, and whatever you vowed, Rudy, come back. Kama huyu alivyo, Rudy. The way this one came kama huyu alivyo, back, toba, the way he, was, he repented, toba he was unable to kaya. repent and do what he had refused not to do. Kaya haki. He was counted righteous. Mana yesu alikuja kuokoa wenye dhambi. Because Jesus came to save the sinners. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alikuja kuokoa wenye dhambi. He came to save the sinners. Kuokoka ni kuchagua. Salvation is a choice. Yuko salama maana ndio ameandikwa. He's safe. That's why he was written here. Tuko wapi? Tuko wapi? Tuko wapi? Wapi? No matter where we are. Ni milima ya Taita. Where where are scattered in Taita? Giriama ya wapi? Ichewa giriama vya scattered in. Bara ya wapi? Wherever country we are. Wote wawe na umoja. All that may be one. Tunatambua mahali pamoja. We are recognizing one place. Mahali pale pochaguliwa ni hapa. This is the place that was chosen. Take your alms there. But if you start saying we belong to the country, we belong to wherever, you are choosing chairman there. There's only one chairman, the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. He said we focus on only one place. Hapa ndipo. Mahali, this is the place God chose. He said, face that place and take your offerings there, all your alms there. And whatever you have, take it there. You and your people, your children, you go there. That's why everyone is Juzi desiring. Na we had a month end gathering, a huge one the Atu other day. Kama We've uji. never had such a huge month end gathering. This church was filled. Mungu watu waki. Showing that God is bringing back his people. Kama we, bado huko, if you are still separated from the world, you are still upholding Mungu the past things. Watu wake toba na God has enabled his people to repent. Na hapa. The other day we had a huge gathering here. Sija uono, mati kama I've never witnessed such a gathering here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, bado yale ya juzi na jana. You are still holding to what is past. He said, I don't want. But later he repented. And let me go to the vineyard. And he repented. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore, let's pray to our God that he may enable his people to repent. The first one being I and you. Because God is waiting upon us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Toka huko. Come out of where Udi, you are. Mungu. Come back to the Father God mema. of the founder who called, for, uh, for, who called A, us for good. Na yokuetu, the thoughts he has for us ayatimize. may fulfill them. Ya amani, they are thoughts of peace. Si mabaya, they are not of evil. Tumaini, so that he gave, give us hope in these last days. Na mimi, He's saying, I'm thinking of you. Mawazo ya amani kwangu. Thoughts of peace. Hallelujah. Kuokoka salvation is a choice. Huyu alipinga lakini baadaye akachagua. This one opposed but later he chose. Akachagua kutii baba. He chose to obey the father. Kaenda shambani akalima. He went to the vineyard and dug there. Wakaulizwa ni nani aliyefanya mapenzi ya baba yake akasema ni yule aliyekataa lakini akaenda. He says the one who refused the but later went. Huyu alitikia nitaenda. It's not the one who accepted that he was going to go. Alipinga. He's the one who opposed. Alafu akaenda. But later went. Kwa hivyo hata kama ulipinga nini? So it doesn't matter what you oppose. Hata kama ulisema sitafanya hili tena. Even if you said you are not going to do Mungu something. Urudi God is waiting for you. Baraka ni zako. The blessings belong Amani to you. Peace belongs to you. Mana yesu alikuja kuokoa wenye. Because Jesus came to save. Tutaliombea neno hili. They went to pray for Mungu this thing. Mungu awajalie watu kubwa kwa wadogo. God may enable Asame all and the young. Na awajalie toba ya kumrudia Mungu. That he may forgive them and enable them to have Na barua ziko hapa. The prayer requests are here. Ni matatizo, All manner of problems. Some are there. Mungu wa God of the founder. Kuwa okoa. They believe that he can, he can save Mungu them. Yao. May God fulfill the desires of Wanaesu their hearts. Yao. He can heal them. Tena yao. And fulfill their desires. Yao. He may heal them of the Tena yao. and fulfill the desires of their hearts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Tena hatuachi ombi letu lile. And we never forsake our Kile prayer. Kile la kufaa katikati ya wanadamu. Anything that is not of value amongst men. Katika taifa zote duniani. In all nations of the world. Bwana Mungu wa. The Lord of Ibrahim, the Lord Isaac God, and Jacob. Of Isaac and uh, Abraham Mungu Isaac and Jacob. Mungu wa baba God of the, fa the father the founder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That he may save us from all those things that are not of use. Anything that is not useful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anything that is not of use. Anything that is not of good use. In our homes. In our, our ways. May God save us from all the things that are not of use. The leaders that we Mungu elected, may God give them to cooperate and work together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The politics season is over. Let them work together and bring development. May God give them development. Yale wale wa yatende sasa. The things that they promised, that let them fulfill their promises. They have started doing it. Mungu amtie nguvu. May God give him strength. Wapewe ni moja. They are given to think of the same things. Hallelujah. Amen. Wapewe ni moja. That they are given to be of the same mind. Tuombe ni Mungu. Let's pray to God. Na Mungu wa amani. And the God of peace. Atafanya kazi. Maana sisi tumewekwa hapa. We will work because we have been put here. Waombaji. To be intercessors. Na Mungu wetu wa mwanzilishi. And the God of our founder. Atafanya kazi. We will work. Na una lako tia hapo ndani. And whatever desires you have Mungu put it there. Ili. God save me from this. Onya lile. Heal that one. Bwana Mungu wa mwanzilishi. The Lord of the founder. Atatimiza maombi hayo. Will fulfill na your desires. Na waomba tupige magoti. Let's kneel down. Tumuombeni Mungu wetu. And pray to our God. Bwana awajalie toba wote. That God may enable you to repent. Ya Mungu wakumbwa kwa wadogo. So that you may come back to God. Asamee kila asio na maana walio tamuka. To forgive you all the idol words that you uttered. Mungu.
Kawaomba tusimame. Ninaamini ya kwamba tukiomba hivi. I believe that when we pray like this. Mungu wetu ametimiza. Our God has already fulfilled. Weka some mwenyewe hiyo Mathayo. Go and read the scripture for yourself. This one said I don't want. But later he went. You ask yourself you have always been someone who is, you, you, you say yes and then you don't do it. How has that saved you over time? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's close our eyes. And one brother close our service with a word of prayer. Mwanzilishi katika mtumishi wako Ishmael Mazumbo Rimba nalitukuza jina lako kwa ajili ya jioni ya pekee kwa jinsi vile ambavyo umetukirimia kuwa katika mahali hapa Bwana tumesikia kutoka kwako Bwana nasema ni asante kwa ajili ya kutukusanya sote katika siku ya leo tumeweza kusikia kutoka kwako mwana wa Mungu kwa jinsi vile ambavyo umemtumia vilivyo mtumishi wako ya kwamba Bwana tusiweze kusita katika ndani ya maisha yetu na kile wakati kuenenda kama jinsi vile ambavyo napenda. Asante mwana wa Mungu juu kwa ajili ya jioni ya pekee. Nikiwa nina imani ya kwamba Bwana hatukuweza kukusanyika mahali hapa bure lakini tumekusanyika kwa ajili tukapate faida kutoka kwako. Asante kwa ajili ya kumtia nguvu mtumishi wako siku baada ya siku kumpa mafunuo ya hali ya juu kwa ajili yetu. Mwana wa Mungu nasema ni asante enda basi ukapate kumbariki zaidi ukapate kujaza mafunuo ya hali ya juu katika ndani yake kwa ajili yetu tukapate kurudi katika njia ile ambayo bwana umetutakia tuishi tukapate kuona utukufu wako katika ndani ya maisha yetu asante mwana wa Mungu uliye hai kwa ajili ya kwamba yote hayo atungeweza kuyafikia iwapo bwana huku muinua mtumishi wa komishi na mzee Elisha katika mahali hapa bwana na kuweza kuleta siri ambazo baba mtakatifu umekuwa mwaminifu katika ndani ya mtumishi wako basi nenda ukapate kuibariki nyumba hiyo ukapate kuinua siku baada ya siku usiwapungukie katika ndani ya maisha yao nasema ni asante kwa ajili ya kwamba bwana tumeanza ibada hii mikononi mwako na saa hii inarudisha tena mikononi mwako nenda bwana ukapate kuwa pamoja nasi tuende hapo kufungana mahali hapa bwana ndio ukapate kutulinda jinsi vile ambavyo umetulinda kufika mahali hapa vile vile bwana ndio ukapate kutulinda na kufikisha kila mmoja mahali aendapo katika hali za amani jina lako likapate kutukuzwa hakuna mungu kama wewe sante mwana mungu leo nikijua hakika nisikia na kisha umetenda na ni katika jina lako Kristo Uliye bwana na mkombozi wetu nimeomba na hata kuamini. Amen. Asante Mungu wetu atubariki sana sana. Our God bless us abundantly. Yeah.